What's up everybody, it's Kalen Moss, AKA The Minute Admin here. And in this video, I wanna talk about the Salesforce Idea Exchange. Now this is something I haven't talked about before and I haven't seen a ton of people talking about, but basically if you have an idea that you want to see done in the Salesforce ecosystem, you can actually come to the Idea Exchange at ideas.salesforce.com and you can submit your idea so that maybe one day Salesforce can make a change to their product or upgrade their product and you can see that change take effect in the ecosystem. So I wanna talk about all of the different tabs that I think are valuable in this Idea Exchange website and then also talk about how you can learn more about the whole process. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this page here, this about page on the Idea Exchange where you can just learn about how the idea life cycle takes effect. So Salesforce, when they release new updates three times a year, they're going to look at the ideas that the community has uh, in order to make some updates or changes. So you can read here on how the idea life cycle works. As you can see here, you can hover over these cards um, to talk about, you know, to understand how posting ideas works, how upvoting on ideas works, creating a list for product managers, prioritizing the ideas for the product managers works, refreshing the roadmap and developing that new idea actually works. And then you can scroll down and you can learn about how to vote on new ideas, how you can prioritize with coins, uh, and then you can learn about creating a roadmap. Now, I'm sure you're gonna have some questions about how the idea exchange works, so there's this tab here called FAQ, or you could click read FAQs. It'll take you to the FAQ tab, and you'll see some general questions about what idea exchange is, how posting and voting works, how prioritization works. I would recommend you just go through this. They're not that long to read, but these are frequently asked questions when it comes to the idea exchange. You can click on these and you can read about questions that you might have when it comes to the idea exchange. Now, I'm gonna to go to this other tab here to go to winners. We can look at the winning ideas. So right now we see the ideas that the community has basically put out onto the idea exchange and we can see what won. So right now, as of the time of this recording, we can see this list of ideas that have won on the idea exchange and are going to be in development. So these are gonna come out during release cycles and this is what you see whenever you find out that there's new updates that have been made. Now, if we go to this prioritization tab, we can see what's prioritized. So when the next cycle begins on May 23rd, we basically will be able to see what our prioritization cycle uh, has pretty much shown us are the winners uh, for our ideas here. So you can see the winners for the previous ideas that have been put into the ecosystem. And you can also click here, up here in the top right, to see the winners from previous prioritization cycles. Now this is probably the, the favorite that I kind of want to talk about, which is where you can actually come in here and post a new idea. So I would recommend before you put an idea here, I would recommend that you read this idea exchange basics module, which I'll talk about in a second to learn how to actually post a new idea. But this is where you actually come in and build out your idea so that Salesforce can uh, make a change to their system. The last thing I wanna talk about here are the ideas that are already out there in the ecosystem that basically require some votes in order to be put on the schedule. Now, there are also some other things I kinda of wanna talk about. If you look at these other tabs up here, this is another tab that I think is really important, this known issues tab right here. And basically, there are known issues inside of Salesforce, no matter the cloud. So it could be marketing cloud, commerce cloud, sales cloud, service cloud. It doesn't really matter. You can always go to the area of Salesforce that you're looking for. And basically, let's say I wanted to go to marketing cloud. I could go to the M's and I could click marketing cloud contact builder. And I could see any sort of known issues in marketing cloud contact builder. You can also come in here and check that out. But for the main purpose of this video, this is all about the idea exchange. Now, 
to really get a good understanding of the idea exchange, I would come in here and I would read these uh, FAQ and about tabs here, but also come in here and read the module, learn all about the idea exchange basics here. So come through here, it's only gonna take you about 40 minutes, a maximum an hour if you're really taking your time to learn everything about the idea exchange. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna get an understanding about this because you could be on the verge of basically creating a new product or a new feature or upgrading Salesforce in some way or another by understanding how the idea exchange works. I know a lot of people want to see a marketing cloud sandbox so that they have access to marketing cloud as they're studying for marketing cloud. So that is an idea that's already on the idea exchange and you can just go in and upvote for that. There are hundreds of ideas out there in the Salesforce ecosystem on the idea exchange. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave the link to idea exchange uh, down below in the description below and I'm also gonna leave the module for idea exchange basics down below as well. If you found this video to be valuable, go ahead and give this video a like. Also hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be coming out with all types of Salesforce videos and tutorials in the future, just like I've already done. So if you like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future Minute Admin videos. Minute Admin out.